The drought isn't only taking a toll on the Rio Grande, one of New Mexico's most popular lakes is also running low. News 13's Alexis Skaneski shows you. It's low, lower than it usually is. There is more beach than lake right now at Elephant Butte State Park. Water levels are well below average, and it's got people's attention, including Marcos Rivera, who visits the lake almost once a week during the summer months with his boat. This is the lowest I've ever seen it. It's a uh... I'm kind of nervous about sandbars and rocks. Even at the uh, uh, inspection station, they said be very careful because there's rocks and sandbars. So that's worrisome because that can be dangerous. This chart shows a decrease in water levels over the last seven days. It's decreasing by half a foot daily. To give you an example of how quickly the water is disappearing, this was all underwater less than a week ago. Right now, it's approaching 50,000 acre feet of water, but it should be at least 10 times that or more. It's worrisome because um, if there's no more water, then this community gets hurt and Las Cruces gets hurt and El Paso gets hurt. And it's like just a total bummer, man. Like I, I am worried that we may not be able to come here for much longer. Officials say since about 2019, the water here has been below average and the lake hasn't been able to meet full irrigation demand for quite a few years. That's devastating to our local farmers who were only allocated about a foot of water this season rather than the usual three feet or more. The main impact is that it's a significant reduction in irrigation water supplies, you know, over 150,000 acres of farmland and it also provides a, a supply of water under a treaty to Mexico as well. So uh, uh, numerous uh, communities and, and, and countries, uh, in this case Mexico, is impacted by uh, low water supplies at Elephant View. The drought now has some people rethinking how they use the lake. Uh, we got a jet ski because it's just a lot easier to deal with the jet ski with the low water levels. But yeah, I mean, it does climate change is coming and we're in a drought. so less water. Alexis Gnesky, KRQE News 13. Officials say there is concern for almost every body of water in the state right now. They say they're at the mercy of Mother Nature.